Hills. In their Beverly Hills store, just off the main floors with their fashion displays, is the High End, a specialty shop dedicated to marijuana accessories. And Barney's being Barney's, price is no object. Take this unique gift set from Devon Bay, a French company that once made stationery for royalty. It's so exclusive, Barney's employees only handle it with gloves. You've got an $8,000 box of rolling papers and accessories. Accessories. It's super special though and it's really thought out. You get a solid gold rolling tray. Uh, also you get a gold temper which you use for rolling which has uh, the shape of the queen scepter. Matt Mazuka is creative director at Barnes. You know we started with 15 we're down to four of these. Mazuka says the national expansion of pot legalization finally reached a tipping point for the company. You could see there was you could smell marijuana in the store, um, and you could tell that the customers were engaging with it. Could you have imagined that Barney's would have an area dedicated to cannabis? Uh, no, I think that the voice that I've been able to kind of develop within this company has allowed for this opportunity to come up because, you know, our brand is based on addressing cultural shifts. With far more experience in fashion accessories than the kind used for smoking pot, Barney's needed a collaborator to help curate the product line. They found one in Bebo an L.A.-based luxury cannabis vendor known for their celebrity clientele. They may be the first really classic sort of specialty department sort of do it in what I would think is a very relevant way because what retail needs right now is relevance. Leslie Guise is from Toby, a consumer and cultural think tank. Relevance is um, sort of where the consumer and culture meet, and the legalization of marijuana is a cultural moment. And it syncs up really beautifully with where the consumer's interests and instincts are right now. Barney's may be the first major retailer to open a cannabis lifestyle shop, but other smaller venues are already catering to the luxury market, including higher standards with outlets in New York and Atlanta. We felt there was a real need for this type of store because as legalization changes across the country the traditional consumer is shifting eric hammond is general manager of higher standards there are recreational uses and recreational markets and all of these type of consumers come to expect a much higher level of experience in all aspects of their life and this should be no different jessica cadmus is a stylist who created robe pack a luxury marijuana carrying case i was seeing Toiletry bags, I was seeing pencil cases, shoe boxes, all kinds of just sort of unsophisticated um, ways to, to hold the ritual. I did some investigation and then ended up designing something because I really didn't find anything that I thought was, you know, sort of beautiful. Like Barney's, higher standards found collaborators, like top home product designer Jonathan Adler, to create a line of accessories including coasters and ashtrays. So one of the pieces is amazing uh, wheat grinder. Um, it's fourteen hundred dollars retail. So and if you think about it, side. luxury products like these, dedicated to enjoying intoxicants, aren't really all that new. Is this the same thing as Barney's selling beautiful cut glassware or liquor decanters? A thousand percent, especially with the culture in Los Angeles. I think people are shifting away from maybe, you know, a fine wine into a fine strain of cannabis. This is the new wine. This is, I, you know, there's so many. We did a huge exploration and survey of, of the category, and there's, you know, sommeliers um, that will, you know, advise on the best strains, food pairings. Um, there really is an ever-evolving kind of language behind this. The team at Barney's was also cautious, spending almost a year exploring what this new kind of smoke shop would look like and how it would be positioned for its target audience. The first place we had to start was really understanding legalities and kind of what is permissible, how is it, how it was a message, what is the language of that. What do you see as the future of this? How big is this going to get? The more it's accepted and the more it's destigmatized, I think we'll see a lot of innovation uh, within this category. The price 